everyone, and welcome to Storytime Online. My name is Laura, and we're going to have a lot of fun today. Let's get things started with our welcome song. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. And now it's time to do some moving and grooving, and we're going to kick that off with the fun little song, Little Fish. So we're going to put our hands together and we're going to pretend that we're fish swimming in the big wide ocean blue. So we have three verses to this song. In the first verse, we we're singing about one little red fish. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Great work, everyone. In our second verse, we're singing about two little blue fish. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. And for our third and final verse, we're singing about three little green fish. Three little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little green fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Great work, everybody. Let's keep that awesome jazzy dancing going with our second dancing song. And it's the elevator song. Get ready to ride that elevator up and down and up and down some more. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a lot of tall buildings on a little piece of land. We live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. And we turn around. Great elevator riding, everyone. What do you say we do this song one more time? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a lot of tall buildings on a little piece of land. We live way up on the 57th floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. Take the elevator up, take the elevator down. And we turn around. Whew. It can get tiring doing all of that elevator riding. Well, what do you say? We say hello to our first puppet friend of the day. Our first puppet friend is going to help us out with the song, Penguin Song. All right, first puppet friend, who's coming to help us? Whoa, oh goodness, hello Penguin. Hello everyone. So Penguin is going to help us out with Penguin Song. Are you ready? Yeah! Perfect. I'm a little penguin in the sea. I can swim as fast as can be. When I catch a fish, just look at me. I'm as proud as I can be. I'm a little penguin on the ice. I think the cold is very nice. Then I hop around first once, then twice. Yes, the ice is very nice. You know what else is a really nice penguin? What? You. Aww. All right, penguin, we're going to do this song one more time. Are you ready? He's ready. Are you ready? Great. I'm a little penguin in the sea. I can swim as fast as can be. When I catch a fish, just look at me. I'm as proud as I can be. I'm a little penguin on the ice. I think the cold is very nice. Then I hop around first once, then twice. Yes, the ice is very nice. And you know what else is really nice? What, penguin? You. Oh, penguin, you're too cute. All right, penguin's going to say goodbye for now and head back to the puppet den, but we'll be seeing him later because he is going to help us out with today's puppet story. But before we get ahead of ourselves, it's time to read our story for today. And that means it's time to sing our Get Ready to Read song. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. And we're going to get our happy on today with a book by Canadian author, 
Grandfather Bowhead, Tell Me a Story. This is written by Avac Johnston and illustrated by Tamara Cambo. So this is a story about some beautiful whales and their adventures in the cold Arctic Ocean. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of all the wonderful things you have seen. Well, little Arbeck, in all my 200 years, I've seen the northern lights running across the vast sky, but they do not compare to the wonder of your very first breath. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of all the joyful animals you have met. Little Arvik, I've met dancing seals who entertained us all, but they do not compare to the joy of watching you swim in the waves. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of all the giants you have seen. Little Arvig, I've seen icebergs the size of mountains floating across the sea, but they do not compare to the giant you are in my heart. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of all the voyagers you have met. Little Arvig, I've met geese who have traveled halfway across the world, but they do not know the feeling of home that I have with you. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of the most exciting thing you have ever done. Little Arvig, I've swum through the fastest currents you can imagine, but they do not compare to the rush of excitement I feel when we jump out of the ocean to make big splashes together. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of something amazing you have seen. Little Arveg, I've seen walruses dive into the very depths of the ocean to find clams to eat, but that does not compare to the depth of my love for you. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of all the hard work you have done. Little Arveg, I've broken through thick ice to help our family breathe fresh air, but all the hard work was worth it because it brought you here. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of all the friends you have made. Little Arvig, I've befriended belugas and narwhals and arctic char, but my friendship with you will last forever. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of all the beautiful sounds you have heard. Little Arvik, I've heard whales singing from far across the ocean, but no sound is more beautiful than the first time I heard your voice. Grandfather Bowhead, tell me a story of the sweetest thing you have seen. Well, Little Arvik, in all my 200 years, I've seen everything you can imagine, but nothing compares to the sweetness of your sleeping breaths. So that's the end of our story. And here we have a special Anuktitut pronunciation guide, which I looked at before I read this story. Because Arvek means a bowhead calf that is still nursing. And that is one of our central characters in the story. And we also have a little bit more about bowhead whales. Bowhead whales are thought to be the longest lived mammals on the planet. They can live 200 years or longer. Hunters have even found ancient harpoon heads lodged in the blubber of these whales. Having the thickest blubber of any animal keeps them warm in the cold Arctic waters all year round. They have large heads and strong skulls, which they use to break through the thick ice in winter months. Bowhead whales like to be social. They like to slap their tails and flippers on the water's surface, and sometimes they even leap fully out of the water. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Really big, really strong, really fascinating creatures are these amazing whales. All right, and now that we have finished our story, it's time for us to warm up our fingers and get ready for a couple finger rhymes. So our first finger rhyme today is called Open Shut Them. So in the first verse, we're going to be opening and shutting our fists like this. We're also going to be giving a clap and putting our hands in our lap. Let's try the first verse. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them on your lap, lap, lap. So our second verse, we're going to be creeping and crawling our hands. We're going to be creeping and crawling our hands right up to our chins, but not putting our fingers in our mouth because they are not tasty, they are not food. No. All right, let's give the second verse a try. 
Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Great work, everyone. Let's try that rhyme one more time with both verses together. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Awesome work, everyone. Let's move on to our second finger rhyme. And this one is called Five Little Fingers. And we're going to be counting the fingers on our hands. So I'm going to start off doing it with my right hand. One little finger standing on its own. Two little fingers, now they're not alone. Three little fingers, happy as can be. Four little fingers, walking down the street. Five little fingers, this one's a thumb. Wave goodbye, because now we're all done. Great work. Now I am going to do this rhyme again, but I'm going to use my left hand instead. Shake things up a little bit. Okay. One little finger, standing on its own. Two little fingers, now they're not alone. Three little fingers, happy as can be. Four little fingers, walking down the street. Five little fingers, this one's a thumb. Wave goodbye, because now we're all done. We're not done quite yet. We're going to be saying hello to our second puppet friend, who's going to help us out with the rhyme, an elephant. Da -da -da -da. I think Elephant heard us talking about him, and he wanted to join in on all the fun. Da -da -da -da. Elephant, would you like to help us with this song? That is a profound yes, if I've ever seen one. An elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers, he has no toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose. And it's a great musical instrument as well, very handy. All right, elephant, would you like to do this one more time? Perfect, all right. An elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers, he has no toes, but goodness gracious, what a nose. That was a great little trumpeting music you've got there. He's, he's a little shy, but his music isn't shy. Well, thank you very much, Elephant, for helping us out. You're going to head back to the puppet den? Yes, and he's going to make way for us to perform our puppet story for you today. Bye, Elephant. Okay, so as Elephant goes back to the puppet den, we're going to say hello to our penguin friend again because he is going to help us perform Be Brave Little Penguin, written by Giles Andre and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Ooh, it's awful cold. We've been doing a lot of hanging out in the cold today. First, we were hanging out in the Arctic with our lovely whale friends, and now we're in the Antarctic with Penguin Friends! That's right. Hello again, Penguin. Hi. Did you miss me? Of course I did. I always miss you, Penguin. <laughs> All right. We are now going to perform for you Be Brave, Little Penguin. In the cold Antarctic sunshine where the icy ocean ends lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, there were penguins short and tall, but little Pip-Pip was the smallest one of all. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip-Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip-Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip-Pip? His father said one fine day. Don't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip-Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come, little Pip-Pip, dip your toes in. Just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it nice and slow. But what if the water's freezing, Mommy? What if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? 
I understand, little one, said Mommy, with a kiss. But Pip-Pip, what if now you try and think of it like this? What if in the water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of treats to eat? Take my hand, little one. Don't worry, I'm right here. Please trust me, little Pip-Pip. Be brave and never fear. Slowly, Pip-Pip made his way towards the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy sledge. Then he looked back at his mommy and his small heart thumped. He closed his eyes, he held his breath, and little Pip-Pip jumped! Woo! Splash! For a while, his mommy waited. Then she cried out, Something's wrong, Pip-Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long. So she leaped into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly from nowhere came a little voice she knew. Mommy, Mommy, over here! Hey, Mommy, look at me! I'm swimming, Mommy, swimming! I'm swimming, can't you see? She turned and spinning circles through the water bright and clean swam Pip-Pip with the biggest smile the world had ever seen. And as she watched her little one right there before her eyes, he burst up to the surface and he soared through the skies. Woohoo! cried little Pip-Pip. Look, Mommy, I can fly! It's really not that tricky. You should try it, Mommy, try! Oh, Pip-Pip, laughed his mommy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you've certainly learned how to swim. Then all his friends gathered round as Pip-Pip landed with a bump and said, Sometimes all you have to do is be brave and jump! And that is Be Brave Little Penguin. You were a very brave little penguin just now. Well, thank you. You know... Being brave can be scary sometimes because that means doing something despite being afraid of it at the same time. And that just makes you really, really strong. You're very strong out there. I know you are. See, Penguin believes in you. We believe in Penguin. It goes all around. All this lovely circle of believing. Yeah! Trying is always productive. Great. Well, thank you very much for helping us today, Penguin. Oh, you're very welcome. And he's going to head back to the puppet den. All right, so as Pip Pip heads to the puppet den, we are going to warm up, get out of the Arctic, Antarctic circle here, and we are going to do some shaker songs. And I'm going to show you today how you can do shaker songs without shakers, because we can still dance and groove and jive. We don't need any shakers to have fun with shaker songs, so let's give it a try. Our first song today is Eggs Together. So I'm going to use imaginary shakers. I'm going to use my fists and maybe some jazz hands because jazz hands are pretty cool. We shake our eggs together. We shake our eggs together. We shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. We shake them way up high. We shake them way down low. We shake them in the middle because it's fun to do. See, it's still fun. We don't need shakers. We can have a blast any old time. So let's sing this song one more time. We shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together, we shake our eggs together because it's fun to do. We shake them way up high, we shake them way down low, we shake them in the middle because it's fun to do. And it's so fun, we're going to do another song called Shake It. We're going to do some counting. Are you ready? One, two, shake it on your shoe. Three, four, shake it on the floor. Five, six, stir and mix. Seven, eight, stand up straight. Nine, ten, wave to your friends. Woohoo! And let's do shake it one more time. One, two, shake it on your shoe. Three, four, shake it on the floor. Five, six, stir and mix. Seven, eight, Stand up straight, nine, ten, wave to your friends. Woohoo! Great job, everybody. Oh, all right, well, we'll give our hands one last little shake, and then we have reached the end of our program for today. But fret not, we will see each other again very soon. Until then, we'll sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you later, everyone.